first. Welcome back. Over the weekend, an EU official said they expected all 27 member states to accept COVID vaccinated travelers starting this summer. But at the same time, the U.S. State Department is expanding its do not travel list. Joining us with more on this is no stranger to the coronavirus as we heard him speak at the governor's COVID news conferences. And that's internal medicine specialist, Dr. Josh Random. Doctor, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. The State Department says 80% of the world's countries are being added to that do not travel list, including Italy, Germany, and the United Kingdom. But we also mentioned the EU accepting travelers soon. So what should we make of all this? Yes, I think the big thing, uh, the one takeaway point with all of this is the uh, the recommendation for, for individual vaccination. Uh, what we're seeing in, in those countries, particularly in Europe, is outbreaks with some of the new variants and in uh, those central european and, and as well as uh, the british isles we've seen a interruption and a, and a slower pace of, of vaccination of that population than, than what we had uh, an, anticipated initially so so these are countries that are that are fighting their own battles and in an ongoing battle with the with the coronavirus and since there is no true vaccine passport as of as of yet, um, that that's where the caution from the State Department comes: is unvaccinated people traveling to potential hotspots. And we've also learned from the CDC that about five million Americans have skipped their appointments for their second dose of COVID-19 vaccine. While we don't know the reason for you know every case, how much could that affect potential herd immunity? Well, the, the good news is even one dose of the vaccine does provide some partial protection, you know, probably 50 to 60 percent efficacy there. Uh, some of those some of those skipped appointments are people booking multiple vaccine sites and, and getting in at one and then, uh, you know, not necessarily canceling through with all of those. Um, some is better than none. But uh, as as my uh, father always told me, if you're going to do something, do it right. So. We do encourage people to get that uh, to get that second dose to really uh, boost that effectiveness. And with about 40 seconds left, doctor, uh, in addition to getting vaccinated, how is North Dakota doing related to social distancing and mask wearing? It is uh, decreasing with with each passing week. Uh, it, it certainly is, uh, is is a bit of a concern. I'm not saying people can't gather; they can't. Um, do different things. Uh, again, this is the plug to to get vaccinated to protect yourself from those situations. But especially now with spring and, and summer soon behind it, we're, we're seeing a re reduction in those uh, social distancing things, which if everybody's been vaccinated, great, go ahead. Uh, for those that haven't, get yourself an appointment to get vaccinated. Dr. Josh Ranham, thanks for your time. Thank you. Next time, Kim.